learn your lesson once you pick up once these one of these links gets caught on a band peg you're not gonna want to do that again Hey guys, Coach Penn here, BigBenches.com. Today I'm going to show you how to set up chains on the bench press and how to do so so that you get a better deload and then loading of the weight as you come up, okay? Most times with chains on the bench, we run into the issue of not that many chains are deloading to the floor and then you're not picking up a ton of chains. If anything, it's just a few links that are getting deloaded to the floor. It's not going to cause this huge swing like bands may for the for the bench but i'm going to show you how to set these band, uh, these chains up so that you can get a bigger deload out of them okay so many of you probably have a comp bench set up similar to this all right first thing you're going to want to do is you have band pegs here you're going to want to pop these out learn your lesson once you pick up once these one of these links gets caught on a band peg you're not going to want to do that again okay Plus, you're gonna smash into your band pegs every time with the chains. So take the band pegs off. Now we have a few components here. You don't need everything. You're gonna need chains because we're working with chains. This is a leader chain, okay? It's just a small chain that doesn't weigh much. It's not contributing much to the weight, but what it's gonna do is it's just gonna create some separation so we can get these heavy chains closer to the floor, okay? And then you don't need this, but this is an easy strap loader here from Elite FTS. And this just helps uh, create that padding for the top of the collar. So if you don't have this, you can certainly use the leader chain and you would just connect it a little bit lower to give more room, but you could just loop this onto the bar too. You don't need to have this. It's just nice to have if you do have it. All right, so first things first, <clears throat> I'm gonna link this up. This is gonna go over the barbell. All right, right around the collar like so. I'm going to take the leader chain and you can see where I connected it. I need to know, and I, I did a little rigging up before we filmed this, All right, I need to know the height that I need to get these chain bunches. Okay, so that was about right for me because you got to think if this is hanging here, we're going to put our heavy chains on this. So how far down do I need to extend this? If I need more room, then I just take this uh, down a little bit, it gives me more room to hang the chain. Okay, so this is very adjustable. Once we get this, all I'm gonna do is loop it in like so, okay? And then the heavy chains are gonna go here. What I'm gonna do with the heavy chains, and this is the real uh, key part of the video. Okay, I got a whole chain link. This is a 25 pound chain. It's not your typical 5.8, it's a little bigger. Whole link, I'm gonna do, cut the link in half. <clears throat> And this is where many people rig up their, their link. They'll take the end piece and they'll clip it. This isn't gonna give you a big enough deload. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna find the middle of this doubled up link. All right, which about right here. And I'm gonna link both of those. You need a big enough clip. Got this off some kind of rock climbing site. All right, cause it'll fit this. Now we got a chain. All right, this is gonna be a much bigger deload. So if you have a small range of motion, right? You're gonna get a full deload here. All right, big, big difference. Then you hung the whole chain, okay? And we can bunch up more chains like this. I'll usually have at least two bunches going. That'll be 100 overall if we have two of these on each side, okay? But I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna hook this up. I'd encourage you, before trying to lift the heavy chain up, take this down. Then all I'm gonna do is in that loop part of the leader chain, I'm just gonna clip it on there. And then here we go. This will go right over the top. All right, and you can see here, let's see what we got. When it's setting up chains, you wanna make sure they're not swinging. So ideally you wanna have some links already on the ground. That's gonna add to your stability. The leader chain helps with this a bit, right? But again, it doesn't weigh a ton, but it's giving us some ground contact. So it will improve stability, but the heavy chains what we want in contact with the ground. So you can see in this setup here, much shorter chains is gonna help out a ton, but we would need to extend the leader chain down a bit 
because we'd ideally want this have a couple more links on the ground. So then when the bar is coming out of the rack, some of it's dragging. If you don't do that, you're gonna get a lot of swinging motion and it's gonna throw off your bar. All right, so for stability's sake, you're gonna want more links on the ground. But you can see how we set up these chains. All right, not much to it. You don't need the easy strap, the easy strap helps. All right, I attached the leader chain. You are gonna want a thin chain, um, easy to pick up. All right, you can grab that at Home Depot, wherever. And then the heavy chain, you'll have to get this special, but bunch it up like so. Fold it in half once, take the middle of that bunched up chain, and there you go. So we actually have four strands hanging down. Okay, we have four strands hanging down here, four sides. All right, and there you go. Chains for benching. This is what you're gonna wanna do it. Coach Ben here. You can meet me on a bench. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel over here. Check out the links in the description box below. You can see a video related on this topic right here. And then our latest video right there. Thanks for watching.